Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the read code question binary tree in order traversal. Okay, so this is a how to implement like in order, pre order, and post order. And uh, in my opinion, I think uh, we should memorize how to implement these orders rather than like uh, thinking. So let's see one by one. So let's focus on results.append and results.append and results.append. So in, uh, in order, so we do something. Um, between left and right. So we append a root dot value, so between left and right, right? So that is an in order. And for pre order, so we do something uh, before left and right. So we append a root value, so before left and right. So this is a pre order. And a post order, and we do something after left and right. So we append a root dot value after left and right. So that is a post order. And uh, in this question, uh, we will implement the in order. So actually, uh, exact same as uh, this code. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. OK, so let's write the code. First of all, initial result variable with empty list. And uh, in order, so call in order passing the root node and return result variable. And let's implement the in order function. So def in order, and let's say uh, like a root. So if not root, then just return. And as I explained earlier, so this is a, a in order implementation. So we do something between left and right. So first of all, so we move left side. So in order and root dot left. And then we do something. So in this case, append, append, and root dot bar. And then move right. So in order, and root dot right. Yeah, that's it. So let me submit it. Yeah, it looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n. So because we visit each node once. And the space complexity is also order of n. So in the worst case, we have skewed tree. So uh, actually, uh, we have another way to solve this question. So we use a stack. So let me explain how to solve this question with stack. OK, so let me explain with this example. So in order should be 4, 2, 5, 1, 3, 5. And uh, so when we move to uh, left, so we use stack. So that means every time when we move left, so and uh, we push the encountered uh, node value into stack. So we start from root node. So let's begin. So first of all, we find the one, right? And push one to stack and move left. And then we find two. So push two, move left, push four. And then there's no uh, node here, right? So when we find a, a, like a node, so next uh, we do something, right? Because we move left. So that's why uh, in this case, we pop the top node top value from stack, in this case 4, and then append the results variable, so 4. So now root is 4. So after that, so we have to check right child of current root node. So now so we find new, right? So we go back to 4, and so we check right side. So right side is null, so root should be null, right? And then, so now we are here. So, and then try to uh, push the like a left, left side, but uh, there's no left side, and uh, current node is also null, so we don't add anything uh, to a uh, stack. So after that, um, again, so we do something. So we should pop the top value from stack, and then append uh, two here. So now current root is 2. So now we go back to 4 and 2, so here. So that's why we need to check right side. We have 5. So next root is 5. So now we are here, 5. And then um, we try to uh, move left. So first of all, we find 5 here, right? So 5. And then try to move left, but there is no left here. So that's why after that, do something. So pop 
a value from stack, so 5. And add, five, add 5 to result variable. Now uh, root is 5. And uh, next, so we need to uh, check right side of 5. But uh, there's no right side, right? So next root should be null. So uh, we are now here. So, but uh, we don't do anything because uh, uh, root node is null. So after that, uh, we do something. So pop the top uh, value, in, in this case one, from stack. So append one to result variable. So now root value is one. So that means we go back to five or to two and now we go back to one. And then after that, we check the right side. So we have three. So that's why next root is three, right? And then, so now we are three. So check left side and we have three, right? So that's why push three, but uh, there's no node here. So that's why only three. And after that, so do something. So pop the top value from stack three and then append three here. And the uh, current root is three. And the next, we need to check right side. So we have five. So next root is five. So now we are here. And then uh, check left side. So we have five. So push five here. But uh, there's no node here, only five. And then after that, so do something. So pop five from stack. So append five here. And then root is now five. So check right side, but uh, there's no right side, right? And then, so next should be, next root is new. Then, um, actually we finish uh, iteration, right? We visit all node. So all we have to do is just return this uh, result variable, like a four, two, five, one, three, five, four, two, five, one, three, five. So it looks good. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's get into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, inside the result variable with empty list and stack with empty list and the start iteration while root or stack. So we continue and while root. So uh, traverse to the leftmost node and push each encountered node onto the stack. So uh, stack dot append. And uh, in the previous section, we just uh, push only number, but uh, we push node itself to into stack. So root and root equal root dot left. And then after that, we do something. So we pop the uh, top node from stack. So root equal stack dot pop. And then after that, append current uh, node value, so root dot value to the result variable. And after that, we need to check right side of current node. So root should be root dot uh, right. And then after that, just return result variable. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n because uh, we visit each node once. And the space complexity is also order of n. So in the worst case, we push the all nodes uh, into stack. This is a step-by-step -step algorithm of my stack solution. I hope this will help you understand my solution code deeply. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.